Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Constant accelerating. This session, I'd like to show you how to solve a problem. This is a question one. A car accelerating accelerates from rest at a constant rate of 2.0 meter per second square for five seconds. What is the speed of the car at the end of that time? Question B, how far does the car travel in this time? So from the information, we can see a car accelerates from rest. That means the initial velocity equals zero, right? The initial velocity equals zero from rest. At a constant rate of two meters per second square, this is an acceleration, right? And for five seconds, this is the time period delta t. So what is the speed of the car at the end of that time? So that means at the end of five seconds. So we're looking for v final when t equals five seconds. And B question, how far does the car travel in this time? So during five seconds, how far the car does the car travel? So we're looking for delta D. So okay, start question A. Looking for final velocity, we have formula final velocity equals inertia velocity plus acceleration time delta t. Because initial velocity equals zero plus acceleration is 2.0 meter per second square time delta t is five seconds. So we got v final equals 10 meter per second. Talking about the unit, we can see meter per second square multiplied second. This second on the top, which is numerator, this second square is on denominator. That's why we can cancel one of the second. So we have meter per second. This is question A. Question B, we're looking for the delta D. So in this question, I'd like uh, to show you a different method. So method one, we use delta D equals V initial plus V final over two multiply delta T. V initial per V final over two. This is the average velocity when an object is moving at constant rate of acceleration. Then we can plug number in because initial equals zero. From the question A, we got the final at the five second at 10 meter per second. divide two times five second. So we got the delta D equal 10 divide two equal five, five multiply five equal 25. The unit we can see this second cancel with denominator second. So we got the meter, right? This is method one using one of the kinematics equation formula. The second method I'd like to show you is method two using delta D equals V initial times delta T plus one over two A delta T squared. 
because initial velocity equals zero. So this is zero times delta t still equals zero plus one over two acceleration two point zero meter per second square times five seconds square. So we got <coughs> one over two times two cancel out. This is five square equal twenty five <coughs> meter. Third method is method three. <coughs> the formula is V final square equal V inertia square plus two times acceleration times delta D. After question A, we find the final velocity. So we already given acceleration, we can find delta D because the initial velocity equals zero, right? This is equal zero. So we can manipulate the formula. So delta D equals 2A V final square, which equals 2 times 2.0 meter per second square on the bottom. The top is 10 meter per second square. So delta D equals the top is 100, the bottom is 4. Talking about unit, you can see. After square, meter, square, second square, right? The bottom is meter, second square. Look at this unit. Second square, second square, both on the bottom, we can cancel out the meter, square, cancel with one meter, we got the meter. 100 divided 4, you call 25 meter. So we have three methods to calculate the displacement. This is presented by Wise Guys. Thank you.